This video is part of the build a complete user authentication course. Feel free to check it out. The link is in the description below. By the end of this video, you are going to learn how to create a new user account using Firebase. Then you are going to learn how to add user data upon user account creation. Finally, I'll show you how to secure the data by allowing only authenticated users to add data to the Firestore database. Before diving in further, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already to see more helpful videos like this and do not forget to hit the like button as well. Okay, let's dive right in. As you can see, I have created a simple project that has two files, index.html and app.js and the app.js file is linked to the index.html. Nothing fancy. I also grabbed the Firebase SDK configuration code from the Firebase console inside the app.js file. If you're not sure where to get the configuration code, I have a separate video that covers exactly that and the link is in the description below as well. So the first step is to create a brand new user account. For that, I will need uh, some sort of sign up form. So inside the index.html file, as you can see, I have a simple sign up form with email and password input fields as well as a submit button. I have also added the ID attribute to the form, email and password elements. Pretty straightforward. In the app.js file, I have created DOM references for those three elements. Below that, I have attached an on submit event with an anonymous callback function. As you can see inside the function, I have prevented the default form submission by calling the prevent default function on the event object. Then I have console logged the values of the email as well as password. Let's run the app and it works great. Now let's create a new user account using these credentials. Before going further, make sure you have enabled the email and password sign-in method inside the Firebase authentication tab in here. Okay, in order to create a new user account, we need two methods, which are get auth and create user with email and password methods from the Firebase authentication SDK library. So let's import them. Next, create an instance of the authentication object using get auth method like so. After that, invoke create user with email and password method, which takes three arguments. The first one is the authentication object. The second one is the value of the email input field, so email.value. And the third one is password.value. The create user with email and password is an asynchronous function, so add the await keyword in. Also add the async keyword. This method could return an error, so wrap it with the try catch block. Finally, the create user with email and password will return a user credentials object if things go well. In other words, if the promise is resolved. So add const space auth credential equals, then console log the user object, which is inside the auth credential object, like so. Let's test it out. And we have successfully created a brand new user. Nice. Hey, if you are interested in learning how to create a user authentication system with four main parts that include sign up, sign in, sign out and checking user authentication state, I have put together a special free mini course for you. Feel free to check it out. Link is in the description below. Okay, the next question is how to add user data upon new user account creation and how to connect the data with the logged in user. So there are two ways you can do that. The simple approach is you can add some data to the user authentication object itself when you create a new user account, but what type of data we can add is very limited. So the best approach is to add user data to the Firestore database separately at the time of creating a new user account. Wait, so the user account creation is added inside the authentication tab, but the data is going to be added to the Firestore database? Yes. The question you may ask, how do we connect them? That's where the user UID comes into play. So where do we find the UID? Well, when you create a new user account, you can see the column called user UID in the authentication user tab, which is unique to each user. 
we are going to be using this user's UID as a document ID when we add data to the Firestore database. That's how we connect the user account in the authentication tab with the data in the Firestore database. Hope that makes sense. Let's see how to do that in action. As you can see, the user credential object has a user object, which also has a property called UID. So after successful creation of the new user account, we have access to that UID. So right below here, I'm going to create a function that will add data to the database using UID as a document ID. To do that, I need three methods, which are get Firestore, doc, and set doc from the Firestore SDK library. So let's import them first. Once it's imported, then create an instance of the Firestore database, like so. Inside the tribe block, create a document reference object using the doc method. This takes three arguments. The first one is the DB that I have declared there. Then the collection name, in this case users, but it can be anything as Firebase is trying to find a collection name that is mentioned here. If it cannot find one, it will create a new collection. So the third argument is the custom document ID. We want this ID to be users UID, which I can get using auth credential.user.uid. The doc method will return a document reference object, so assign it to a constant called docref. Finally, call the setDoc method, which will take two arguments. The first one is docref, document reference object. The second one is the actual data. For the simplicity's sake, I'm going to just store the email. So email colon email dot value. You can add more data if you like in here. The set doc method is an asynchronous function. So add a wait keyword in front of it. That's it. Let's test it out. And a brand new user account has been added in the Firebase authentication tab with the UID. Let's switch to the Firestore database and you can see the same UID as a document ID inside the user's collection with the data, in this case, just the email. Next, let's secure the data with the condition. The user must be authenticated first in order to add data to the Firestore database inside the user's collection. To do that, go to the Firestore database security rules tab, and I'm going to add this code, which is the match function which has a path to the user's collection slash user slash user ID inside the curly braces, which is the wildcard for the document ID. So allow write if request auth, which is the user authentication object. If it is authenticated, this is not going to be null, then allow them to write data to the user's collection. So this code basically tells only authenticated users are allowed to add a document inside the user's collection. That's pretty much it. Hey, if you are interested in learning how to create a user authentication system with four main parts like sign up, sign in, logout, and checking authentication state, I have put together a special free mini course for you. Feel free to check it out. Link is in the description below. If you like this video, smash the like button. And if you want to see more videos like this, hit the subscribe button now. If you want to dive deeper into learning user authentication with a complete step-by-step -step guide start to finish, check out my premium course. Link is in the description as well. Thank you for watching. You may want to watch this next.